What's up, everybody? It's your man, Kurt, from Triad Hip Hop Podcast. And um, I want to talk a little bit about a case that's been going, you know, just bananas in the news lately. And that is the execution of Nathaniel Woods. Nathaniel Woods is a black man, and um, he was executed in the state of Alabama for a shooting that related to the deaths of three Alabama police officers. And um, basically, he's always maintained that he was innocent. And uh, what's happened here at the last minute, right before he was set to get executed, you know, they were trying to stop his execution because they wanted to get the judges and courts to re-examine the case. Now, most of us know he did actually get executed because they decided that, no, we don't care about that. We're not going to waste time looking into evidence. Now, the quirkiness about the story, you know, the twist, is that one man has actually confessed. Another man has actually confessed to this. Now, this is a man who's already in prison, and he says that he has confessed multiple times saying that I did it, basically. And he's even stood up for Nathaniel Woods saying that man should not be in prison, let alone on death row ready to die, when I'm telling you boldly that I did it. So I just want to get your opinion on what do you think, you know, about this case of, of Nathaniel Woods? You know, do you think they were right in just going ahead and executing him? Or do you think they should have taken time to examine the full information that was brought to them at the 11th hour? Because, I mean, this was, they tried it all the way up into the 11th hour. And the people who were in charge of, you know, overseeing it, they just said, hey, you know, we don't think it's worth time to go back and re-examine and check facts and all that. We, we feel like justice is being done by executing this man. Now, what's funny is the man who's confessed, I mean, he's confessed boldly, he's confessed multiple times, and he's even uh, stood up for Nathaniel Woods saying, hey, you know, this man is not the one. I'm the one. And I have, I mean, he has nothing to lose. He's already in prison. So what, I mean, so he's like, you know, I'm the one, you know what I mean? I, I did it and I did it alone. He had nothing to do with it. So why are you still going to execute him? And then the other twist to the story is the man who's confessing. They're saying he may not even be executed. So the man who's confessing, willing to confess is, is able to live out his life, even though he's in prison or whatever, he's still able to live out his life and, and have more time than somebody who's, you know, compl claiming to be completely innocent and has people like this man backing him up. So I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I have to say it really hit home for me because I have a friend, you know, a lot of people may know him. He was formerly known as H. Rap Brown from back in the days, you know, in the 60s when the Black Panther movement was very high. You know, a lot of people put him in that category that he must have been a Black Panther, but he actually was not. He was part of the uh, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC for short. And so he's actually in prison at this time. He's a good friend of mine. He's in prison right now for a similar situation where a couple of cops were trying to arrest somebody. One gets shot and killed. The other one, I think, got shot and injured, but, you know, didn't die. And basically, you know, they arrested H. Rap Brown, who was now uh, a leader in the Muslim community. And that's how I came to know him. He goes by the name of Imam Jamil Abdullah al -Amin. So a man shortly thereafter, when he got arrested, did the same thing was like actually it was me that did the crime I did the shooting and they didn't care about that either but that man did recant his story afterwards um, I think he I think he thought about it and was like you know what I don't feel like doing that time I'm gonna let 
you know, I'm gonna let somebody else take the fall for that one. So, you know, Imam Jamil is now in jail with no hope. You know, for the most part, there's no hope that he's getting out. You know, they pretty much gave him life. And it, it's really sad. You know, I got to visit him a couple of times when he first went in. And, you know, I just really felt bad. You know what I mean? I write about him a little bit in one of my books because, you know, he's always been very strong and he's always encouraged us that, you know, you stay on your prayers no matter what. You know what I mean? And um, I think it's just really sad when things like that happen. You know, somebody is confessing that, hey, I did it. And they're like, huh? who cares? You know? So what are your thoughts on that? You know, where do you stand? Do you think Nathaniel Woods was, you know, justice served? Or do you think he was a victim of the system? Let us know. This is your boy Kurt for Triad Hip Hop Podcast. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.